For today's quiz, we have this model of a DC motor. It's got a commentator. Instead of brushes, we have wires that are touching. We have the central part, which will spin, which is really going to end up being coils of wire going in opposite directions. And they're being fed from this DC power supply. It's variable, and I can change it from 0 to 5 volts, although we're going to pretty much leave it at the same voltage to get this running. I have permanent magnets, and just so you know, that's why you might hear that a motor is called a permanent magnet motor. Here I've got one permanent magnet, here I've got another. This is going to be the north side, this would be the south side. This would be the south side, and this would be at the north side. On all magnets, we have a north and a south. So when I turn this on, we should get this to rotate. Our question for today is, if I were to take another magnet, and this magnet, this is going to be the north side, this is the south side. Let me shut this off so I don't give it away. If I were to take this north and put it close to this other north on this side of uh, the motor, right here. So it's almost going to make one big north on this side. What would happen to our motor? And that's what our quiz is all about today. Let me hold this up for you. Um, And I hope you notice that there's dotted lines with the other magnet, and that's showing that I'm going to be pulling this in. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible. Enlist your confidence. Typical student responses are basically three. One is nothing's going to change. It's going to be the same. I have to have a balanced force. This is unbalanced. It's not going to work. Others will say, if I add more magnetic field, even to one side, clearly it's going to end up speeding up. And others will say, no, it's going to slow down. I'm not sure why, but they feel that it might slow down. So those are our three typical responses that we get. All right, let's explain how this motor is working. And maybe you don't understand every single part, but everyone knows that I have an electromagnet, which is going to be causing a north and a south on this inner part of the motor. And then they're going to feel forces by the permanent magnets, either north or south. And as I end up adding more strength, I'm going to end up having a greater push or pull, depending on if they're north or south. So we might think that this should make it go faster. But before we go on any further, remember that idea where we said maybe we need equal strength. That is going to be a little bit of a conundrum that we should probably give the students time to think about. All right, let's give our students one more hint. Let's get this moving again. And notice I'm going to take, on this side, I have a north side of the magnet. Then, uh, I'm sorry, this would be the south side. And the north side is back here. So this is going to be south. We already said this would be the north side. Now watch, when I take two magnets and put this next to one another, I think you can see and hear it clearly speeds up. But remember, our question is, what if I just took the one magnet in? What happens then? All right, let's actually get this going. I'll get this started. I'm going to take my other magnet and I'll just keep this going at a very slow speed. And now I'll take this other magnet in here. And clearly you can hear it sped it up. Now that we saw that it can end up being sped up by a single magnet and they're not balanced, could I have this motor run with just one magnet? Let's try that out. So let me get it started here. I'm going to give it more voltage to build up momentum. And now I'm simply going to pull this other magnet out totally. It can keep going, but not very well. It only has about half of the strength. So as I put this back in, you can hear that this magnet is speeding up.
This leads us to a real world example. If I wanted to control speed of a motor, you could simply vary the distance of your magnet. So we could physically move the magnet to increase or decrease its speed. We could also add an auxiliary magnet and put it closer to control the speed. And if you haven't figured this out, I could slow it down by taking that same auxiliary magnet and putting it on the other side. So we now have a way to control the speed of a DC motor using a physical magnet. Think about this. You could, you could have this connected to some big screw that you could bring in or out to have a mechanistic way of controlling an electric motor. All right, that's your quiz for today.